Hello, and welcome back to another Foxy Hotel live stream. I'm assuming everything's working today. I don't think, fingers crossed, that we've got any problems today. We might have, we normally do, but I don't think we have. No, that you'll be going, I can't hear you. It looks like you can hear me. I don't know. I can't hear if you can hear me, but I'm assuming you can hear me. We've got a few people in the chat here. A redundance here, Omexus, Lawful Meteor, Dirty Hippie, Polly Boy, Dobbs 31, Cage Hunter Dispatch 96, Yellow 82, all there. Dobbs saying, yeah, got to rack up those stream points for that Chaos stream. It was amazing. I hope you enjoyed the Chaos stream. I really enjoyed it. Pickles is here as well. Is he saying something says Cage Hunter? <laughs> Yo, don't you, don't you. I know, I know. Lawful Meteor says, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can, Lawful, loud and clear. 05 Mur Murphy's here saying hello Foxy or hey O's Foxy sorry I, I can't read apparently McKay86 saying hello all together hello all together is that like you try and say every single letter at the same time <laughs> no I can't do it tried my best <laughs> Cage says it was worth a try today we're going to be playing on Truly Bedrock again peeps it's the place that I like to play on the Tuesdays but speaking of the chaos stream that we did the other day who out of here saw it now i know we haven't got a full stream just yet we've still got a few people coming in me six has forgotten to announce it again so i had to do it for it thanks me six and it's probably you know a busy day for other people streaming so i don't know lawful was there dobbs was there as well anyone else i watched 20 episodes in two days is so max us that sounds painful mate what do you do that for? Grafter dad with a wave. I was there, says Cage Hunter. Well, I don't know if you're all aware, but I put a uh, poll up in my Discord asking how regularly that we should be doing these streams because it's tricky for me because as much as a lot of the redemptions are available through stream points, which obviously are free, uh, a lot of them do require some sort of payment, which I always find a difficult thing to do putting pressure on people to obviously spend money on a live stream now from my point of view there's never any pressure to do that but i realize the pressure doesn't always just come from me it comes from the other people in the chat as well and the other streams that are going on so i didn't think it would be a good idea to do too regularly now i believe the consensus of the rest of the chaos group uh, would like to do the monthly but the poll i um put out and my own personal thoughts were to do it maybe once every couple of months uh, at the most in order to not have that pressure on people to be spending money in the streams because it's not very nice it's great for me obviously because it's a financial reward as well as having a great time with you all but that's not what it's about it's about just going crazy and blowing off all of your stream points that you've been saving up and just getting ridiculous for a day which i really enjoy so i've been weighing it up uh, i don't know what we're going to do going forward whether whether or not they will do it monthly and i'll just jump in every couple of months or what but uh, i'm glad you guys were open and uh yeah if you haven't already responded to that poll please do because i am going to base it on what you guys say um Polly boy says me it was great Kay says i was busy in game with another streamer oh i see i see hmm, another streamer eh hmm so I just wanted to have that quick chat before we started. Obviously, not a huge number of people here just yet, but they can watch it on the VOD if they missed it, didn't they? Bones! Bones, Bones 3 dfc subscribed. <laughs> Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Thank you very much for your subscription, Bones 3 dfc Very nice. Right. I suppose we ought to do some things on the old Truly Bedrock, didn't we? Now, today... It's going to be a bit of a nethery day because I need to gather things that you can only really find in the nether. Um, one of them is magma blocks. However, if I look inside of my chest, speaking of my ender chest, do you, I've got two dirt boxes. Why have I got two dirt boxes? Why? Why I do this? I don't even use dirt for anything, but I need two boxes of it, apparently. Weird. Speaking of weird, where is Mitz? Where's Mitz? Is she hiding from me? Yeah, oh, I've got more books. Ooh, mending books as well. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of magma blocks in there, but I believe for an up-and-coming project, I'm going to need even more. So, yeah, that is on the plan of things to do today. I would like to get a whole bunch of magma cubes, magma blocks, or whatever they're called, and I would also like to grab a whole bunch of 
quartz as well because quartz is very handy for things. So I'm going to put that one back away in there. I'm going to grab a couple of empty shulker boxes and I think some absolute nutcase has just redeemed pickle filter. No, they haven't. Ha, you just typed in pickle. You didn't redeem it. Oh, this is good news. Excellent. Oh, all of the stream redemptions are turned off because of the last stream. Hang on a minute. One moment, please. While I turn on, I told you there'd be something wrong. There's always something wrong. Let me turn on. <laughs> I've got all of the stupid ones on for the chaos stream. They need to all go off because they won't work. They're not going to work at all today, mate. Turn those all off. Jeez, there's many, many of them. And then we'll turn all the other ones on. Oh, jeez, there's so many. Okay, so we need to do 10 squats, do 10 push-ups, uh, rename any item, displease a piglin, displease me, compliment me, party time, face filter, wear the Simon hat, do a push-up, puppy cam, big puppy cam, freeze me, big cam, dinner bone. Wow, I've got so many redemptions. You're also very lucky. Spin me, face palm, eat. And I think, I think that's it. I think that's all of the ones we got. Okay. Crisis averted. Channel fixed. Miss is here. Rude also. Hey, Foxy. Miss, where was you? I was looking. It says on my list here, active mods. And you wasn't there. In fact, you're still not there. Are you, are you invisible on here as well? I got that list specifically up for you so I could see when you were there. So you weren't moaning at me when you're not there and you're invisible. How am I supposed to win? Jeez. If, you, if you're invisible, I can't see you. And pickle, says Omaxos. Yeah, I, I turned that on, but you, you um, it, it's available now. Jeez. But you don't have to do it. I'm just saying you don't, you don't, you don't have to do it. Oh, hang on. We need fire resistance potions, don't we? If we're going to be messing about in the nether. And do you know what else I would like? You know how the other stream, we got a lo whole bunch of villagers... And don't get me started about those villagers. Just don't get me started, all right? It's just not funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we we could probably do with a couple of happy smiley pickles to keep us safe, I guess. But um, piglins. I haven't done any piglin barter in this season. None at all. Not one bit. Right, fire resistance potions. Where would I keep those if I kept them anywhere? Probably. Mm, I don't have any, do I? You called me weird. Refresh it, says Mitt. Called you weird? What? Refresh what? Who's weird? No, I have to, says Omax. I'm very confused right now. Did I call you weird, Mitt? I don't remember calling you weird. I mean, it's probably something that I'd likely do, but I don't think I did. very very confused right now mitts as usual not actually telling who she's talking to that she's talking to them so everybody's very confused as to who she's talking to good job mitts dirty hippie says would rather would you rather fight 10 chicken sized zombies or one zombie sized chicken one zombie sized chicken of course because even if it's bigger it's not going to be stronger is it unless it was stronger in which case it's still a chicken so it's not going to attack you so it's fine so yeah Definitely 100% the chicken. That's what I would like to fight. I've got so many empty bottles at my witch hut. It would really grate on me making more of them. Oh, I've got another one there. But I feel like I'm going to have to because I'm not going all the way to the witch hut just to just to get more glass bottles. No. I'm gonna, we're going to waste some, some glass? Where's my glass gone? Who's stealing my glass? Oh my goodness, says Mitt's face palming. Now, look, you can't just say things and expect me to know what you're on about. You have to explain. Me stupid. <laughs> I need, I need, like, many explanations, okay? Jeez. It'd be stronger. It'd be much bigger fried chicken bucket afterwards, says Dirty Hippie. Right, okay. If you say so. Mitz says, lol, you said, speaking of weird, is Mitz here and refresh active mods and you'll see me. Oh, I see. Oh, you're there now. 
<laughs> no, I didn't call you weird. I meant it's weird that you weren't here. Jeez, you always take everything so personally. Weird that you're not here because you're normally so here. That's a compliment. It's not a negative. It's a good thing. You, oh, jeez. You can't win with some people, can you? Some people, it's like they intentionally try and make life difficult. Just saying. Miss. Pointing fingers at you. Jeez. What makes fire resistance? It's magma cream, isn't it? I bet I don't have any magma cream. That's annoying if it's magma cream. I can't put that straight in there. I need to turn it into those first. Okay. Put some of them in. It's magma cream, says Athena V. Of course it is. Schmoopsie, says Blue Cat Eyes. Hmm. I was in the middle of replying to you, Blue Cat Eyes, earlier about the uh, merch that you suggested. Could we have tank tops of Happy Smiley Pickle? Uh, yes, that is possible. The reason I didn't is I've tried with these last two designs to, to have less available variations overall because i think sometimes with the merch stuff it's so overwhelming having so many different products different types of t-shirts different sizes of t-shirts different colors of t-shirts that it becomes less easy to buy the stuff so i i still added a range of things but not a very big range of things but like if you go to a shop and you buy a t-shirt right there isn't like 48 different styles of t-shirt fit size and color you just have that one t-shirt in that one style and in that one color yes they've got different sizes but that's the only thing you get to choose whereas you go on the merch store and you've got phone cases hats leggings socks t-shirts hoodies girls t-shirts boys t-shirts uh, all the uh, there's just so much stuff i think it's uh, i think it's too complicated so i was trying to keep it as simple as possible but i still think it's overly complicated and I've also, there's tea, Teespring I like because they've got good quality stuff. Um, and it integrates with Twitch and YouTube, which is great. But there's a big, big problem with Teespring that I really don't like. And I think it's a really, really purposefully bad system that they've got in. And that is that if you, each design that you make, they consider that a different like you can't you have to have shipping on that separately even like, if i order samples for to to check the quality of them for myself i get it at the the basic prices but i have to pay shipping on every single different design so you can't just buy one pickle t-shirt and one this t-shirt and one that t-shirt and get all the different designs you're paying shipping on each one and i think it's really mean and ridiculous so i am in the market for looking for another supplier of merch i know i've got my um my other one the one i was with originally which is spreadshirt but spreadshirt doesn't integrate with anything so i could do with something that integrates with twitch and youtube and doesn't rip everybody off and has good quality the other thing with teespring is they take forever to be delivered and <laughs> while i'm on my little mini rant um the samples right if this is the most ridiculous thing if I order samples, I pay the base price for the product. So there's no profit on there. But for each type of delivery, they charge me £26.99 shipping. 20, nearly £30 shipping. So if I buy one t-shirt, let's say it costs me $10 or £10, I pay another £30 just to have a sample shipped to me. But if I buy it from the store, there's only £2 worth of profit on there for me. And I can get a 25% discount on the product, product and the shipping. And they only charge me £3 shipping. So it's ridiculous. They make this system in place so you can buy cheaper samples. But I've actually saved, like, because I bought a whole range of stuff so I can have pickle stuff and many, many, many ones for myself. And um, I've saved, like, £30 just by buying them officially with a dis promo code <laughs> than I did going through the samples. It's ridiculous. Swindlespin says, will you be building an auto brewer? And I'm going to answer that with a big fat no, because they very much confused me. I've tried to build my own design before and I failed miserably and I don't want to use someone else's design. Okay, just saying. Sorry I'm late, says Rotated Alface. You will be. Bones says, Foxy Discord friends are stalking me. Yes, we are bones, says Athena V. Right, redeemed face filter. Who was that? Who was it? It was somebody. Where's my list gone now? I can't find it anymore. Oh, it's up there. Swindlespoon. 
Face filter, will you be... But you didn't say which face you wanted. Okay, fair enough. Lofty says, this, your merch shop, I've ordered from them. I must admit, it does take a long time to get to us. I know, it's not very good, is it? Not very good, because I can go on, like, any, like, t-shirt making website, like, moo.com or Vistaprint or somewhere like that, and get a t-shirt ordered and delivered within, like, a few days. So it is, it's not it's not a great system when it comes to that, but they, the quality is really nice, and I do actually really enjoy wearing, the particularly the hoodies I've got from there, so... I'm not going to complain about that, but it could be better is what I'm saying. And it's not ever so cheap either. So, but who wouldn't want Happy Smiley Pickle on the t-shirt? I'm just saying. Now, I need to get higher up in the nether so I can go chopping for... Well, I actually need to be low down in the nether. I don't want to make a ma mess of Zaps portals. I don't know how to get to the main part of the nether anymore. I used to know. Maybe we'll just go this way a long way and hope we pop out somewhere. I'm getting some pickle merch as lofty. I'm getting pickle merch and many, many oh merch. Goodness, so just, someone there. has just subscribed for five months. I cannot believe it. Slow Minsky! Just subscribed for five months. Hello, Can you believe Foxy. it? Hello. Hello, Slow Minsky. Subscribing with Prime on a three month streak for five months. Impressive stuff there, Slow Minsky. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Lofty says, now I'm going to get another Mr. Onion hoodie. I've worn mine out. Wow, you must have worn it a lot. I wear that Expert Level 99 one at least once a week, that blue t-shirt that I normally have on for streaming. The only reason I've not got it on today is I've misplaced it. It's in the washing pile somewhere. I've washed it loads, I've worn it loads, and it still hasn't faded or started peeling or anything yet. So I am really impressed with that. And my hoodie as well. I wear the hoodie all the time. I wear it on dog walks. I wear it when I'm just mooching about the house and it's particularly cold. So yeah, that's the good thing about it, is it is good, but the rest of the stuff really annoys me, okay? I believe that Lofty says Mitz. Well, see, because Lofty doesn't like to spend money, because she's, uh, you know, she likes to she likes to save what she can, she'll have probably got the premium, no, the not the premium, the opposite, the, <laughs> the extra value t-shirt rather than the premium one. So it probably wore out in about, oh no, this is a bad idea, in about 10 seconds. Going to whole place, not on me. Right, so what we need is magma blocks, but not that has lots of lava above them. Hmm, this could be tricky. Let's pickle up. Lofty says, I can, uh, uh, lol mitts, it's so comfy to wear. Swindlespin says, I need an expert level 99 mug for Teams meetings. Yes, I was not after a filter, just started doing random things to Swindlespoon. Well, that's good then. I was panicking that we were going to get pickled up then. But fortunately, we're not. Hmm. Hmm. We need, we need, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Should we just brave it and go swimming in the lava? I think that's probably the only way we're going to do this. To get to the proper part of the nether. I can't put that in my offhand and drink it. Let's just drink it like that. Let's go for a swim. Hey, what could go wrong? Come and get Foxy Nutel some water. I think he has just fainted from all of these gifted subscribers. Slominski9 just gifted 20 subs. Excuse me? <laughs> um slow minsky nine <laughs> I, did you perchance accidentally maybe press the wrong button then <laughs> gee whiz slow minsky nine <laughs> i don't think i've ever had well maybe i have maybe once but i can't it was so long ago i can't remember it a 20 20 20 20 gifted subs are you, I'm, what, what? Okay, hang on one moment, please. While I, uh, adri oh my goodness me. Not satisfied with his three month streak as his five, five months sub on his own. Okay, if your name is Foreman153, Rubik's Raised by Dragons, Vlanton Frinderen, Coyotes Wolf, Lord Dragon, Caleb Technology, Unship Mod, Yellow Ram, Addison Travis, Wraith, Sunbird Sunburn, Jolly Man, UK Granny Gamer, or Red Bane, please, please, please give Slominski a huge, jeez, 
A huge. <laughs> Do you know, Slaminski's given 260, 260 gifted subs to this channel. Thank you. A, a pardon? Whoa. I like Mr. Onion. I like the Mr. Onion sayings of love day, yeah. Perfect Tim to Tim to ask for water as he swims in lava, says Captain Caveman. Whoa, okay. For magma blocks, I found look for an island in the lava, says Swindlespoon. And then somebody said, has anyone considered building piston bolts in the nether? Piston bolts are rubbish. Why would you want a piston bolt? They're very, very slow, very difficult to build and very temperamental. They're so easy to break by just placing down one rail slightly incorrectly or breaking a rail. I have no idea why you would want a piston bolt. Java edition, maybe. Bedrock edition, absolutely not. And even even on Java edition, why? Just fly. Dig a tunnel big enough to fly down it. Why would you need a piston bolt? I mean, you could say, well, just for the feat of engineering that, that it is to do it, but they've been done so many times, I just, I don't even think you get, you know, that warm, fuzzy feeling inside your belly for doing it anymore. Hey, you. Clear off. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Wah! Ah! Okay. Small ones come out of the big ones. I have to remember that. Jeez. Good news! <laughs> Says Wraith. You can guess what it is already, can't you? <laughs> the makers of the Dacius Sandero were gifted a sub. Oh, dear me. The, uh, do you know, I was watching a film the other day with Jack and it had a Dacia advert at the beginning and we've been calling them Dacias for years, but apparently Dacia... Either that or the uh, the advertising company got it wrong, but they're called Datchers. Datchers, not Daisies at all. It's the Datcher. So uh, they're also, you know, bad at spelling, bad at pronunciation, and bad at marketing because every person in the country calls it a Dacia. So, yeah, well done, Datcher. Getting it wrong. Mitt says, Oh, Slaminski, you might have finally passed me now. No, impossible. Impossible mitts. Nobody could have passed you. Now, I can't actually see how many you've given, uh, I don't think, without without you giving another one. And that's not me saying, can you give another one to account? I'm sure if I click on something, I'll be, able, I'll be able to find out. But I don't think I can do it while I'm streaming. So if you know mitts, if you can click on something and tell me, I'll, I'll very much appreciate that. We need to know who's winning. Pop that pickle, folks, you lols, is unshipped mod. Absolutely not. Never, ever. But at least they're incredibly resource intensive, says Pickles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. About the uh, the piston bolts. Very, very resource intensive. And the Daisy Sanderos. Because they have incredibly poor no miles per gallon. <laughs> incredibly inefficient vehicles. But Danny very cheap. Z very cheap. Wolf just subscribed for three months. I remember my brother had a Dacia. It was one of the, the larder... Not the larder. The, the larger ones. Like it was... SUV style and he had it for ages and he absolutely swore by it so when they got another car they got another one saying oh how wonderful it was and it just completely just <laughs> it was rubbish the second one completely useless kept breaking all the time they got rid of it so they, they obviously were very lucky getting a good one and then had you know the usual cheap car treatment and had bad bad with a good one Bravo for pronouncing Dacia correctly, Foxy. The car was a Romanian creation bought by a French company, says Quintilian. Danny Z Wolf! I'm surprised you're able to subscribe for three months, considering, I think, between Slaminski, Mitz, and there was another chap here that used to frequent these streams that used to give out a lot. I'm sure between all of those peeps... They must have, surely, everybody in the world has been subscribed to my Twitch by now, I think. Pretty sure that's happened. Oh, look at all of this magma blocks. Many, many of them. Many, many indeed. And I'm still covered by how many seconds worth of fire resistance? Which button is it? No. I'm sure it was Z or X or something like that. What button is it? I don't know. There's a button to check how many you've got left, isn't there? Swindlespoon says, I did not know you could wear Frostwalker boots to stop magma blocks hurting till Slack pointed it out in one of his videos. You can indeed, but 
You know, if you go around wearing Frost Walker boots, you might as well go around with a big sign on your top of your head saying, I'm a complete moron. Because that's what people that wear Frost Walkers are. It's like the people that walk around using tridents and crossbows as weapons. They're just not right. Something wrong with them. Just saying. I'm only kidding, by the way. If that's your choice and that's what you do and that's how you play the game, then, you know, all the power to you, my friend. It was a joke. Please don't take it personally. Oh! Mitz Cat <laughs> has gifted a sub. What? Just did what? No, Mitz didn't just give one. Mitz gifted ten. Mitz gifted ten. It didn't tell. Oh yeah, two hundred eighty-four. Mitz two hundred eighty-four. <laughs> so you're still beating Slaminski. Ten. Graphic Cornet. No, Graphic Hornet. Uh, Kieran Savoy. Raven Knight. Machinto Benito. Indigo. Waffle Lunch, Lofty, Logan Lit Game, and DD1877. You have been subscribed by Miss T Cats. I would appreciate it if you could do a big, big, <gasps> big, big thank you. Oh, I'm not, I can't go on fire now. I've, I've got fire protection. It's all good. It's fine. it's fine. Don't worry about it, peeps. I know we're all panicking for a second there. All right. 284 says Mitch. Jeez. So you decided to give out 10 subs to see how many subs you'd given out, mate. That's just ridiculous. There's definitely a cheaper way of doing it. But thank you. Jeez. Ah, oh, fire. Now my fire resistance has gone. Look. Good timing. I can come out of some more of that. Might get a little bit more. I'm just going to put some of these items away now that I've got them, though. And then we'll, uh, we'll have a little bit more of the old slurpy slurp slurps. And then we'll crack on. Many, many magma cubes was farmed, found, got in today's video. Mitch, you gifted me a sub. Much appreciated for the gift sub, said Lofty. And Mr. B's here, apparently. Evening, Mr. Nose Hell, says Mr. B. Evening, Mr. B. It was, a, it was a rather impressive video you put out today. Your application for the thingy thing thing. I know we mentioned it briefly in the Trudy Bedrock chat. I don't know if that's public information. Probably not, so I shouldn't shouldn't say anything. But good luck to you, my friend. I hope your team I hope your team gets in. The MCC ah, oh, ah, ah, oh, thing. Good good job. I don't know if there's a way we can like vote for you or anything like that to help, maybe. Possibly. But the thingy thing, yeah, ha, we'll see, says Mr. Beardstone. I see you're uh, <laughs> as good as me at remembering the names of things. MCC Rising, is it? I don't know. Something like that. Nah, it's just based on people running it. I see. I see. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, good luck to you anyway and your team. Thank thanks for inviting me, by the way. I know you wanted to invite people that were actually good at the game, but come on. You could have at least given me like a... Feel sorry for a me invite. Jeez. Jeez. Who should we invite on our team? No, Foxy No Tail is rubbish. Oh. Well. Hurt me on the inside, Mr. Beardstone, just saying. I was invited, not the invitee, says <laughs> Mr. Beardstone. Oh, that's a convenient way out of that one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they just wanted me to do the video. <laughs> well, you are quite good at doing videos and thumbnails and impressive things with your editing, so I'm not surprised that they did. So uh, that's that's you know, take it as a compliment. Looks like someone has way too many diamonds oh goodness, to give really? around. Thank you very much for all ten of the subscriptions you have just gifted. Mr. P's the cameraman says Vex. <laughs> Slaminski just gifted ten subs. You are now only fourteen away from Mitz. Jeez. Mitz has done 284. That's taking you up to two, two. Why? Why? 270. Stop. And the hype train's like, a hype train is close. How can it be close? We've had 4 million subscriptions already today. Super Logan Utah, Foxy Fiery Fury, D Murphy, Captain Perks, Bro, Sly Miner, Tals, Wed the Killer, Violent by Designer, Mr. Valley. Please give Slaminski9 a, uh, a a check to see if they're okay, really. And a big thank you. You know, probably could do with having their um, <laughs> their head checked for a moment. Just make sure that they're still firing all, on all cylinders. Not to call you out for being 
Not quite right, Slaminski, but 30 gifted subs in one stream is ridiculous. Stop it. Put your money away, sir. It is not welcome here to... Oh, it is very welcome here. Absolutely welcome, but you know what I mean. Stop it. No more. You've been told, okay? Them's the rules. <laughs> Unship monsters. It's a sub off! Slaminski said I wanted the badge. <laughs> really? Really? I am inside blocks, which is... <gasps> ah! Stop putting me in blocks, game. It's so annoying. It's convenient, but also very annoying. Hi, Foxy. I just joined. What's happening? Says Big Big something. Big T12310. I am mining for magma blocks right now and telling Sliminski and Mitz Cats off for being too generous. Would you help me in the, you know, my telling off of the people that are being too generous by helping me tell them off for being too generous? In fact, everybody in the chat, make sure you do big thank yous first so that you don't seem ungrateful. But then, then give Mitz and Slaminski a hard stare and say, no, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> Foxy, do you think chat is going to listen to you? Says Lofty. One day, Lofty, I think it might happen. I'm pretty sure one day it might happen. Just saying. It could. It's not impossible that one day that someone might turn around and go, do you know what? Maybe today we could listen to Foxy No Tail. After all these years of bullying him and <laughs> being so too generous, and it makes him feel an incredible amount of guilt, we should just stop for a second and listen to him and do as he asks. But no, probably not. Probably not. At the end of the day, you you lot know better than I do anyway. It's not my money you're, you're uh, being generous with, so not, it's not up to me, really. I'm just trying to be nice. Y'all ain't being generous. Y'all ain't being generous, says Razor's Edge. What? How dare folks be amazing, says Philandras. Indeed. Beck says, I mean, we will listen to him, but actually do what he asks. Nah. Carol says, very much enjoyed the It Takes Two video, Mitz and Foxy. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it as well. I've got a uh, chaos, chaos stream montage going out tomorrow. Just subscribed for four months. Ooh. Stop subbing people already. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Han. Thanks, Han, for joining in the, the stop subbing people already. <laughs> um, like, thing that we've got going on by subscribing. How oh, you got your message across there. Appreciate it. Good job. Jeez. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow is going to be a um, chaos stream. Uh, it's a bit shorter. It's about three minutes long or so, maybe five minutes long montage, funny clips, which is definitely worth a watch. So check it out. If you haven't already seen the uh, the uh, Int Takes 2 one, then definitely check it out. Even if you haven't played the game or if you don't know what the game is, because it's just me and Mitch just being well doing silly stupid things and getting it wrong basically so it's a very very entertaining video so definitely check it out there will be another one of those coming soon as well um they're actually being edited for me by someone else uh who is a little bit late with the next one but they've had a lot of stuff going on so it's not too late it's fine so that'll go out next week as well which is good uh good news dylan i'm my new editor from the 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 dylan arts from the discord he is currently working on friday's episode of truly bedrock which is good news which will feature mr slack lizard and some of the other members from tv as we take on another task as issued by the scoreboard no spoilers um what else was going to tell you oh and today i i posted a video on my twitter and in the discord as well but i would very very much appreciate if you could just check out maybe drop a like on it as well for a company that are very, very near me. That where we took Nelly for all of our training and stuff when she was a puppy. We still take her there now for socializing classes and things like that. And I um they I started basically making uh videos for them. Like we've recorded and edited three. I made a little teaser one today, which is the one that's gone out as a bit of a funny introduction to the whole thing. The other ones are a little bit more serious, but they're quite entertaining. 
But they should be starting to go out, I would imagine, over the next few weeks. But I'm not asking you to go and watch them all and like them all. Just the one that I put out today, just to show a little bit of support. That would be really, really appreciated, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's your homework for the week. You can go now. The bell's ringing. Playtime. Already watched and liked this lawful meteor. Thank you very much. Wasn't able to catch care stream, so looking forward to the montage. This feel good. The uh, I think you can still catch the VOD on Twitch, and the VOD will be on YouTube as well as of after this stream today. So uh, yeah, as soon as this is finished, I'll be posting that on YouTube. So you want to catch the whole thing, and I would recommend it if you can st if you can stand it because there was a, a whole lot going on. So it was not easy on the old eyeballs, but it was very, very funny. Very funny indeed. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. The scoreboard, we use salmon again, says uh, Jelly Cole. No, Bruno wasn't available today, so we, I couldn't get to take the mickey out of the way he speaks. <laughs> because he's not from native English speaker, which means he struggles with English. So, of course, that means I take the mickey out of him, which I shouldn't, because that's pretty much bullying. But it's done in such a nice way. <laughs> and it really did sound like he said salmon, I'm just saying. I particularly enjoy the way he says Mr. Beardstone as well. <laughs> really makes me laugh every time he says Mr. Beardstone. Still alive. No, not that one, Bruno. But Bruno. No, not that one either. Oh. Okay, good. Mr. Notel, do you have a video on how to retexture things in Minecraft? I'd like to retexture wolves into my dog. What you should do, right? The easiest thing to do. There's millions and millions and millions of tutorials on the internet for those. So if you really do need a tutorial, then then go and check one out, but you really don't need one. Download a program called Blockbench, which is free. Uh, open up the Minecraft model for the dog and import the texture to it that you can get from the vanilla game. And then just, you can literally paint on it in that app and change it to be the way you like it. And then you just export that texture or save that texture and replace it in your game. Easy peasy. What did you learn from puppy training, Fox? He says on ship mods. I learned that some puppies just want to play and don't want to learn how to do things. And other puppies are really good at being trained. I also learned that Alsatians will bark no matter how small they are or what they've got, you know, nothing to bark at. They'll still be barking at you. Uh, and I learned that the little, is it cockapoo dogs? The tiny little um, ones that are based on spaniels that are absolutely nuts, just will run and 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 they will never ever stop. So I'm glad I didn't get one of those. Trainer told us that our dog was 100% capable of doing what we asked. She just doesn't care. You've got to have the right motivation. That's what it's all about, is motivation. If you uh, if your dog's not doing what you want it to do, then you are not giving it the right motivation and not, not necessarily a treat that it wants. Maybe it enjoys a game. Maybe it enjoys a particular toy that it would you can uh, motivate it with. So, yeah, I think I think there's there are stubborn dogs out there because I've met them before. We've had them in the family, but uh, I think most dogs... It just comes down to uh, to doing it right, really. Making sure that the dog can understand you, for a start. You can't train a dog if you if it doesn't understand what you were talking about. And, and giving it the right motivation. And just practice, practice, practice. What are all these magma blocks for, says Athena V. A project that I have coming up with Mr. Lizard that I'm hoping to be recorded on Friday. However, we were supposed to be recording the end of our current project today... But he's had a few... E oh, where's my sugar box gone? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he's had a few issues today with his computer. So we haven't ended up recording today. So we may not be using these magma blocks anytime soon. Speaking of magma blocks, I need to now go and rescue a sugar box that I've clearly lost and left somewhere. Great. Let's hope I didn't break it and wander off from it and it's despawned. Um... Hmm. Face palm from Umship Mod. Yeah, I'll give you that one. I'll give you a face palm on that one. Oh, there you go. Hi. Hello. Hello, Stridey McStride face. Oh, there it is. I'm not a complete moron. Yay. I mean, I'm almost a complete moron, but not quite. 
You set it down to feel good. Clearly I did. You're absolutely right. I'm going to set it down again now and put more stuff in it. And then I'm going to pick it up again so I don't lose it. My tea's run out. Hey, look what I got today. I got a shiny water bottle, which has got things on it to tell you how much to drink a day. And it came with, like, cleaning things to clean the spout and everything. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. And I filled it up before the stream. And then I took a sip of it. And my face nearly imploded with the pressure required just to sip a tiny bit of water in it. Because for some reason, the hole that the water can come through is microscopic. I have no idea. They've got a big old straw in the bottom of it. Oh, it's got a big thick straw for water to go through. And then it's got like a nice big top bit there. So it should be dead easy for the water to go through. But if you look down the spout, it has the tiniest, tiny pinprick of a hole. So I'm literally going to have to get my drill out either after the stream or tomorrow to drill the hole bigger so I can actually use it to drink water from. So good job, manufacturers. Excellent. The whole point of this with the like the labels and everything on it is to make you or encourage you to drink more water in the day. But there's no way you could even drink one litre of water with that because there's no way you would have the power in your jaws to suck it out through the hole. It's ridiculous. Finally, I was able to catch you streaming, says Rafay. You didn't catch me. It's not like I'm doing it like with the door shut and hoping no one's going to look in and see what I'm doing. I'm putting it out publicly for you to watch. Gee, some people. I'm joking, by the way. It's a joke. I'm glad you managed to catch me live streaming. <gasps> Caught him live streaming again, Mum. What's he doing in his room? I, I think he's live streaming again, Mum. Ooh. It's all time with Foxy says feel good. Yeah. Going to need many, many power drill to, uh, to put a big enough hole in that. It's the only way. Oh, look at all this, this lovely gravel. My favourite. There's one thing that they need more in Bedrock Edition, it's gravel. I really hope when they create new biomes, they create more gravel. More extra gravel inside of the gravel would be nice as well. Because there's never enough gravel. Don't you all find that? That you just constantly just wishing there was more gravel in the world? As I do. They could have a whole gravel biome, said Athena. Yeah, that went all the way down to bedrock. And then just make that every single biome. So all of the blocks in the world is gravel. Yes. Now you're thinking, this is this is excellent. We should put that in the feedback post. Please make all blocks in Minecraft gravel. Jeez, it should be gravel. Sock on the door, he's streaming against the slanderers. <laughs> Better not go in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Foxy, do I need to learn C++ and details for creating mods? Okay, um... No, because of two things. First of all, do you, you... Well, there is a way of modding for Bedrock Edition, but it's not very popular and I don't think it's very well supported. So I think what you're referring to is making add-ons, which are not really mods. So you're not actually modifying any of the core game code. All of the add-ons are written in... Uh, JSON, so you don't need to know C++, you just need, to, well you don't even need to know JSON because there's programs such as Bridge uh, that will do all of the coding and stuff for you, so you just need to choose the functions and things that you want it to do, so it's it's a very simple thing, but because it's not a mod and because it's just an add-on that requires whatever you're working with to work within data-driven items, it's not very flexible like mods are. JSON is super easy anyway, says Valandros. It is if you know what you're talking about, but it's not to people who've never done it before. I mean, it's it's a, certainly a much easier thing to work with than C++, but that's from somebody that knows a lot more about JSON than C++, so I think that completely 100% depends on your experience and level of expertise. Like, driving a car is easy if you've driven cars loads, but for someone that's never driven a car before, it's quite difficult. Was saying. How long is pickle filter out of stock for? Says Lofty. It should be in stock. Is it? Is it not working? I turned it back on at the beginning of the stream. 
To be honest, we've not had any of the stream things. Mitz, is it back on? Did I break it again? I I'm sure at the beginning of the stream, I turned all of the redemptions back on. I did do it while we were live, though, because I forgot to do it before. Groover guy! Raiding with a party of 52. Amazing! Hold on to your kitties. It's a Groover raid, says uh, uh, Nifty Rat. Oh, it's so hard to drink from. Do we need a grand, a gander, what, a grander that turns Deep Slate into gravel? No, absolutely not. No, we do not need a grinder that turns Deep Slate into gravel. That's a very bad idea. You could be fired for having that idea, I'm just saying. Ban him, Mitz. Ban him for having stupid ideas. Rick Roy, hold on to your kitties. This is a Groover raid. Thank you very much, Groover, for the amazing raid. And hello, raiders. What have you all been up to? What's been going on, on in Groover Town, basically? Is what I was going to say there before my words all fell out of my mouth wrong. Silly Jules here, saying, hey, Mitz. Mitz getting all of the, all of the, the hellos. Wow. Oh, don't worry about me, guys. Just come here to see Mitz as usual. Jeez, I see. I see. It's all about Mitz. I'm kidding, it's not really. Why do you need so much magma for, mate? Why do you need so much magma for, mate? Uh, well, funnily enough, I need all of this magma for my mate Slack. Because me and him are going to be working on a project together and he's told me I need a lot of it. So I'm dedicating a small portion of this stream to getting a couple of shulker boxes worth, okay? Is that all right? And if I don't use it all, I can always try and sell it or maybe just, you know, fill everyone else's shops up with it so that they uh, have nothing but magma blocks because I'm I'm the prank master. Slaminski redeemed pickle at filter. He beat me to it, says Lofty. Oh, did he? What did he do that for? Oh, dear. I ought to do that as well because I like Slaminski. If it was just you, Lofty, I probably wouldn't do it because you, you don't give me 30 subs every stream. <laughs> Okay, pickle filter on his way. You ready? Carrot master says on ship mod. Okay, pickle. My my pickle is coming to say hello. Oh, it's me. A happy <laughs> smiley. Oh, happy smiley party pickle. I'm a happy smiley pickle. What are you going on, everybody? I've been on holiday. Mm hmm. I didn't have to do the last live stream because I was, uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, I've been on holiday. He, that Foxy No Tail let me out of my box for the, what? Oh no, I wasn't in the box. I live in the big house. No, oh, yeah, don't hit me. Okay, yeah. Oh, I was, I went somewhere really nice on holiday. Yep. Mm hmm. Went in the, uh, I went. Inside the garden and rain and he left me out there all the time. No, no, he didn't. I went somewhere. I went on an airplane, went somewhere nice and warm. Don't hear me. Uh, uh, I went to, uh, what? I went, I went, I went to, eh, Sp Spain to do, but I go on the beach. I ain't going to beach. I went on the beach. It was nice. Well, I don't, don't talk about holiday anymore. I'm not allowed to talk about holiday. I'm allowed. I just don't want to talk about my holiday anymore. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. No Tail. I'm really happy. I like my job. I don't feel forced into doing anything at all. Mm -mm. Definitely not forced to do anything I don't want to do. Okay, now I will shut up again. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm a happy smiley pickle. I'm a happy smiley pickle. Lost my sugar box. Hmm, I probably should have been showing more people the fan art after on a pickle foxy, says Space Dorito. 
You do have fan out of me. I always wanted to have fan out of me. Where is it? I want to see it. If you need help, blink twice, pickle. We can get you out. I don't need help. I'm not blinking. I'm not blinking. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Goodbye. That pickle. I've lost my shulker boxes. Oh, they're there. Found them. Hurrah! That was easy. Of course, I'll send it in the TB Discord, says Space Dorito. Appreciate that. Always nice to be receiving arts of many varieties from people. It's a shame it has to be of that stupid pickle, but uh, no, I appreciate it nonetheless. I mean, that lovely pickle, I really like him, honestly. Doesn't drive me completely insane all the time with his stupid ideas. You can't help not laugh at the pickles, is Lofty. It's the eyes for me, Lofty, says Athena. <laughs> Speaking of uh, pickle space, did you check out my... <laughs> Have you seen it? Not that I'm not requesting that you buy any, but did you, did you see the Happy Smiley Pickle merch? I'm quite proud of that one, the design. I really like it. Roth was the one that screenshotted it. Uh, and I stole it from him and didn't give him any credit, so yay hey, hey for me. Not seen it. Def definitely worth checking out, just to have a look at. It's, uh, it's good. It's the smile and the way he speaks is lofty. <laughs> He's a menace. Just like, why? <laughs> I always say this to Oliver. Why are all of his toys <laughs> and all of the things that have voices in my house, which is everything, why are they all naughty? <laughs> and the don't hit me is lovely. Why are they all so naughty? They're all naughty and they, they do things they shouldn't do. Why? Why can't I have things, inanimate objects that speak and do nice things? Why have they all got to be naughty? What am I saying to myself? Ah, oh, fire. No. <laughs> sea pickle in the cage at your base, renamed Mr. Pickle, would be funny. I had a uh, sea pickle on the wall called Pickle, or oh, Happy Shirt Smiley Pickle, but it's disappeared. Lofty says it's more funny when they're naughty. Yeah. Athena V says, I have some thoughts on that, Foxy. I would appreciate to hear them, as long as they're obviously uh, family friendly. I'm sure they would be. Can't imagine why they wouldn't be. How I'm I'm kind of stuck in this big hole now. Hmm. Anybody know the way out of the hole that I've managed to get myself in? I managed to get myself in a bit of an hole here. Can I uh, dig up my... Pickaxe is not doing very well. Yeah, after I've done uh, magma, I actually wanted to go grab some quartz. Now, I don't need that for a project. I just haven't had much quartz this season. So what I might do is switch out to my fortune pickaxe in a minute and do uh, grab a bunch of quartz because we've got quite a lot of magma now. In fact, we've been grabbing magma for an hour. So I think that's probably going to be plenty. Can't I can't possibly, surely don't need any more than this. I'm sure Slack will be over the moon with how much I've got. Uh, I got shulker box full there. Oh, I haven't even got two shulkers full. Hmm. Not far off, though. I do need to chuck a whole bunch of this stuff down the bin, though. Down the bin? In the bin. Chuck it down the bin. I am. Chucking it all down the bin, look. There you go. It's down the bin now. Go down and head to the closest cardinal direction, says Pickle. Drink and go up, says Dispatcher. Hmm. And Mitz has got sad face. What's up, Mitz? Foxy, you have no block lag. How? It's so satisfying to mine with no block lag because I run the server from my house. So I have a direct connection to it. Need boxes, total slack said nine, says Captain Caveman. Don't you tell me, Fibs, Captain Caveman. There's no way I need nine shulker boxes and man blocks. I don't believe it. 
Absolutely not. 100% don't. Don't believe it. Nonsense. Hmm. But I, what I would do need is a way out. I am 100% completely and utterly lost. Aha! This looks promising, potentially. Could it be a way ah, a way out? It says, that's a thinking face. Moment's gone now, though. Don't worry. Okay. I won't. I'm not going to worry about it, Mitz. If the moment's gone, I shall, uh, I shall not worry, and I shall just move on and think about something else. I wonder what you're thinking about, though. It's always nice to ponder things, isn't it? Have a moment to yourself just to think about... Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, Jeez. No! No, 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 no. Foxy's worrying about... Foxy's worrying about it. You can hear it in his voice. What am I worrying about? I'm not worrying about anything. I'm not worried. It's fine. I'm not, I don't really think about it. I'm totally fine. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, so many blocks. Ooh. Party time. Thank you, Quintillion. My favourite time of day when it's party time. You know, Puppy has been sat in her bed for the last goodness know how many live streams and nobody ever redeems Puppy Cam anymore. I know she's not technically a puppy anymore because she's bigger now, but I think she feels unwanted. I think she feels completely let down by all of you. Nobody wants Puppy Cam anymore. Poor dog. Did Foxy miss the push-up redemption, says Frudel. I didn't miss them, actually. I did see them, but I did forget. So thank you for reminding me there. Uh, I'm sure Mitz has probably been uh, poking at me to remind me, and I've no doubt missed all of the things that she's uh, she's reminded me with. So, uh, thank you. I'll do those. Do me a minute. Yay! There we go. Someone from space. Lofty redeemed puppy cam. Space Dorito, Dorito redeemed big puppy cam. That's more like it. Finally, Nelly getting the love that she deserves. Ah. Oh. Oh. I saved my points for the past stream, says Mike Burton. Keep them safe. Don't let anyone steal them. Whatever you do. Yeah. Ah! Don't let me tell you how to spend your stream points. I was just saying. it was. It's just I find it strange, actually. Being to totally honest, I was just messing about. But I do find it strange that it was constant battle to have puppy cam on the screen all the time. And then for the last few streams, it's just been... Ah! Oh, oh dear, I'm on fire. Yeah, she's just not been, not been on. I'll be able to catch a stream weekend for once, so I'll be able to build up some more points for everybody channels to space. Yeah, I'm not going to be on this next TB stream weekend, which I'm a bit disappointed about. I do really like to be on them, but it uh, unfortunately is one that falls on uh, when I got my kids for the weekend. So I, I don't like to really do streaming if I can avoid it when the kids are here. So I will be doing the next one, hopefully, if that falls on the right weekend. Yeah, sadly for me. I'm sure, that, you know, there's plenty of other TV streamers out there. But for me, personally, I will be there. Oh, no art for you, then. Wow. Well, you've, you've done me some pickle art, so, you know, I think, I think I've already won in the art department. So thank you. In fact, did you say you posted it? Oh, you said you posted it on the TV channel. I'm going to have a look at that now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is one very derpy looking happy smiley pickle. I love it. Not what I expected at all. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> it's older. I think that's the first time I drew the pickles in space. <laughs> It's um, it's it's frightening. It's yeah. It looks. It almost reminds me of uh, what was it? Salad fingers. Do you remember salad fingers? Do you remember? Does anyone remember salad fingers? Foxy, have you done a setup tour? Yeah, but no one turned up. No one bought any tickets. And I, you know, I I had it open from 2 p.m. till 3 p.m. I even put cakes out. Nobody came. Nobody came at all. I mean, it probably didn't help that I wouldn't tell anyone my address, but yeah, no one came. So I was doing—I was going to do one. Oh, 
What can you do? People don't want to turn up. People don't want to turn up. Space Dorito says, oh yes, salad fingers. Yes. If you don't know what salad fingers is, well, all I'm going to say is, it's probably a good thing. Because, yeah, salad fingers. Hmm. It was a bit of a weird one. I'm not going to lie. Ah, whoa, mini fire. Right, I've got enough magma stuff now. Let's go get quartz. It's not quite so dangerous, is it? Ow. Yeah, it's not very family friendly, though. Very good, says Danny Z Wolf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's not family friendly. Yeah, don't go watch that. It's not, <laughs> it's not family friendly. Oops. Oh, well, it could be worse. There's worse stuff out there. I don't think it was that bad, was it? Or am I just remembering it wrong? I haven't seen it for a very long time, so I may well just be remembering it completely wrong. What kind of cake was it, says Pickles? What, that I had for the setup tour? It was, um... <laughs> Battenberg. <laughs> Battenberg cake pickle. Aruki V says, I don't think Salad Fingers was anything friendly. Yeah, that sounds about right, to be fair. Right, I need to get my fortune pickaxe out. There we go. Green Khaleesi. Oh, I need to keep the silk touch one, though, so I can put my ender chest away. No, yes. Perfect as pickles. <laughs> Alrighty, I've got to go step away for a minute, but I'll be back, says Space Rito. Okay, well, enjoy stepping away. Well, whatever it is you're stepping away to do, I hope it is fruitful for you and enjoyable. And if not, then, uh, you know, at least we'll be here for you when you get back to help commiserate your terrible time that you had stepping away. We're such we're so good, aren't we? We're such a good community. We look out for people, don't we? We're, we're all good. Especially me. Mostly me, to be honest with you. you I mean, you lot are rubbish compared to me, but uh, mainly me. I'm brilliant, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> right, peeps. We are... An hour and ten minutes into this live stream. Can you believe it? Jeez, that's flown. Who's got some questions for me? Come on. Come on. Keep those questions coming in. I need them. I need to know what you're thinking. I need to have things that I can respond to. So come on. And if you haven't got any questions, maybe you've got something to tell me. Maybe you've got some tips and tricks of the things that I've never heard of that I would find useful. Got no channel points anymore, says Woden in the old. You'll have some soon. Don't forget to click, keep clicking on that little icon that gives you a little boost every now and then either. It sneaks in. You don't. You never notice it pop in, do you? And you're like, ah, oh, I wonder how long that's been there. Yes, extras. Ranger Z says, not sure where my points went. Hmm. 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 Yes. I can't remember either. I seem to remember you made me pull quite a few funny faces the other day, Ranger. Just saying. Excuse me. How's your day been, says Big T? Do you know what? I've had a good day today. I was, uh, I didn't do what I was planning on doing. I was planning on recording all day with Slack, but he had a few computer problems, so we didn't. But I've been very productive otherwise. I've, uh, I've gotten some personal stuff out of the way which was nice i um only, put some washing on only game. Only, right, geez, you you game. i'm not mad all right jeez and uh, and then i edited some videos for the uh, this company that i've been making videos for so that was fun but yeah it's been a good day do you know what though what i mean it was good and it wasn't good last night and it's not very often that you'll hear a real man like me uh, telling you, whoa, hello. 
telling you how he cried himself to sleep. But last night, I proper was ugly crying. <laughs> crying myself to sleep and you'll never know why i wasn't sad i wasn't sad at all but oh man you should have seen me i was in bits i haven't cried that hard in a long time and it's so ridiculous oh geez stayed up late to watch some telly <laughs> and uh, i watched the end to a series or a you know uh what's it called it's not a series is it like the the entire program it's never going to be on again it's finished for good now and it made me very sad it was one of the saddest endings for something i've watched in a long time and you'll all think i'm stupid when i tell you what it is can you guess when spindlespin says will your world trimmer be updated to work with 1.18 um i th hope it will work automatically but if not i'll do my best to fix it Bad Omens is Pickles. No, no, it wasn't Bad Omens. Bad Omens getting a new series, so definitely not that. Uh, Firefly. No, I haven't seen Firefly. It was Lucifer. Of all the programs, to you know, it's not one that you would even consider sad, but for the last three episodes, it was just wall to wall. The, the good feels, then the bad feels, then the good feels. I'm not overly happy with the, how the ending was, but that just made it even more sad, so... Yeah, it was, um, oh, it was, it got me. I haven't seen the new season yet, says Rangers. I love that show. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's not only the new season, it's also the last season. So, uh, yeah, if you really enjoy it, just make sure you definitely watch it, because it was, it was, uh, it was good. Made me cry as well, says Slominski. Oh, man. I, I mean, I was starting to go on, um, on episode eight Ep episode eight really had a lot of like moments in it and i was like wow that, that and it felt like the finale i kept having to check i was watching the right episode and then episode nine sort of just built up a uh, really a little bit for the 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 last one which was episode 10 and then episode 10 just it went to town on just making you raw <laughs> by the end of it and i you know when you like you check don't you press the remote to see how much of it's left i was like oh it must be in the end now <laughs> and then, it's only halfway through. <laughs> Mitz is going to ban Foxy. Stop talking, says Mitz. Why do you want me to stop talking? It's all right to share your emotions, Mitz. It's fine. Is it because you're worried about spoilers? I'm not going to tell you what was going on it. <laughs> Mitz wants the sub box. I am. Why are you going to ban me, Mitz? I cried at the end of Scrubs, lol. Yeah, me too. Scrubs was amazing. The spin-off was rubbish. Spoilers. I'm not giving you any spoilers, Miz. I didn't. I was. Com I was. Whoa. I was very careful there to completely and utterly go round spoilers. There were no spoilers at all. Not one single bit of the plot was given away at all. You know. Neither will I. Slips the seal for it, says so Slominski. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's too good to spoil. Absolutely is. You've got to watch it. I can't believe they finished it, like, on an alien theme, though. It's really weird. They've not had anything to do with aliens the whole time, but then, you know, just to have, like, everybody getting abducted at the end. And, like, they're not actually really, like, the angels and demons. They're just aliens. Really weird. Didn't expect that. But I guess, you know... Whatever sells. Yeah, Scrubs had a spin-off. They had like the, the, I think it even had some of the main characters in it, uh, but it was like a, the like younger kids Scrubs or Scrubs Juniors or something. I can't remember what it was called. It was rubbish. Didn't know it was any for goods as mitts. Oh, sorry. It is. Ah, to be fair, that's been, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I don't like it when people do that in the miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> But you needed to know. Watch it all tonight. I stayed, I was up till half one in the morning watching it last night. There's no way I could stop. I got to episode eight. And episode eight was so the way it was. Oh, I can't, no, I've got to watch the rest of it now. So I'm a little bit tired today because of that. But it was good. It's nice to get it out of your system sometimes, isn't it? It's nice to just, something. sometimes you just need a little bit of a spark to get it out of your system. It does really, really, it resets you on an emotional level. It makes you feel a lot better the next day. I woke up feeling really happy this morning. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I had to run with the green wheelie bin in my dressing gown. 
<laughs> because because I was up a few minutes later than normal. So uh, it was eight, ten past eight this morning, and I could hear the bin lorry coming, and I'm like, no, I haven't put the bin out yet. So I dashed downstairs in my dressing gown, run outside with it barely done up to get to greet the bin man. <laughs> So I passed him it because he was literally stood outside my at the end of my drive waiting and laughing at me because I've got a really stupid dressing gown. So I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Mitz is leaving now. Why are you leaving? Space Reader says, cried when Mr. Onion died, says Lofty. Don't leave, Mitz. I need you. Not allowed. You're fired for leaving. <laughs> Oh, I cried over that dark fox scene, says Space Jam. Oh, I've only got two hearts left. This isn't good news at all. This is bad news. I need to, I need to, I need to, um, do that. Aha. I'll show him. Space Dorito says, I sometimes cry over TV episodes. Why do the British call big trucks lorries? Because that's what they're called. <laughs> it's just the name of them in this country. Blue Cat Eye says, I was just waiting for the totem to pop. Yeah. Why do the British do anything to space? Wow. Because they're lorries to Swiddlespoon. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Why do you call cats cats? That's what they're called, isn't it? That's the, that's the name. It's technically, you know, it's it's never a good idea. I'm assuming you're American. For an American to tell a, a British person they're saying it wrong, seems though, you know, you you're speaking a, a version of English that you stole from us and then changed on your own. So you're saying it wrong. Quite clearly, is a lorry not a truck? The same. English thieves going around and taking the U's out of our colours. Can't believe you. Who do you think you are? I love dog dogs, says App Kamet. I did that on Java and they got me through the corner, says Danny Z Wolf. Oof, Mitt says, no pickles. We have biscuits and cookies. They're completely different. Yeah, cookies, uh, cookies are like more chunky and often a little bit soft in the middle. And they've normally got like, well, bits of chocolate or other things stuck in them. Whereas biscuits are crisp all the way through, can sometimes have cream in the middle, and come in many different varieties. Yeah, not. Ow! Oh, no! 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 Ah! Oh! Hiya! Yeah. So yeah, don't you be mixing up your cookies with your, your biscuits. You won't be having a good time. What do you prefer though, Mitz? Biscuits or cookies? That's the question. Lorries are birds, says Swoopy Louvers. What? The whole you thing is annoying because they constantly get spell checked when being correct, says Space Dorito. <laughs> and you keep changing all of our S's to Z's when we have I's as well. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Ooh, it's a long way down, isn't it? I, it has suddenly occurred to me. I have absolutely no idea which way is the way home. I am going to be completely winging it to get back. That's slightly concerning. Hmm. I mean, I'm semi-protected, so I'm not worried about... Well, I don't think I'm worried about dying. <laughs> but I am slightly concerned that I don't know how to get home. Hmm. Hey, Mitz, says JCB. Hey, JCB. We call our car boots a boot. Americans call it a trunk. Because Americans don't know what a wooden box is, Mitt, uh, Lofty. That's why. Which is obviously quite clearly a trunk. Or the end of an elephant. Depending which elephant you go to, though. One end is a trunk. The other end is not a trunk. One end is safe to look under and feed. The other end is not safe to look under and feed. If you try and feed the other end, the elephant will get angry. And it will poke you with the other end. Just saying. American spelling of words confuses me because I can't spell the British version, <laughs> versions either. So Swindle Spins, yeah. I, it's fine. 
you know, two different versions of the same language is absolutely fine. But what annoys me is that we've got two different keyboard layouts and Windows is constantly trying to get you to switch to an American layout when you don't own an American keyboard. So you get, you've got your taskbar and you, you're typing away in English and then all of a sudden you press the at sign and you get a quote and you're like, no, I want an at sign. And then this little thing that you didn't even know you had has popped up on the taskbar and gone, oh, look, I'm a language bar. We switched over into a U US English now. You're like, why? I don't have a US keyboard. Why are you doing this to me? You know, you can have all of your U's and your S's and your things in the wrong places, but stop stealing me words and me, me things and stuff. In the boot, a type of footwear, says Vexalta. You know, some words can mean two things. I'm just saying, put that out there. It's not illegal to just have, you know, a one word meaning different things. Okay. Vex with you trying to be smart there. I see what you're doing, but you failed. You have failed this city. Speaking of failing this city, hopefully not going to get in trouble for uh, ruining Mitz's day anymore. But Legends of Tomorrow, Legends of Tomorrow, I love it. I've I've always liked it. It's so ridiculous and so stupid, but it is by far the best DC Comics um, TV show. It's way better than The Flash. It's way better than what Arrow used to be. It's way better than Supergirl. Way better than... Um, Bat... Is it Batgirl or Batwoman? That's rubbish. That was really, really bad. I think there's another one now as well. But yeah, great. I love it. I absolutely love it. It keeps getting more and more ridiculous, and I keep lapping it up. But it's because they're honest about how ridiculous it is that I think I like it. They're not, like, trying to... Like, The Flash tries to be serious, but it's so stupid. The storylines on The Flash are absolutely insane. They don't make any sense. Ooh, half a heart. They're completely illogical. Whereas The Legends of Tomorrow are just like, yeah, this is, doesn't make any sense. It's completely illogical. And that's what, ah, way we like it. Oh, oh dear, I'm going to die. No, 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 no. Lucifer is technically DC Comics as well, so Slaminski, and he did feature in Legends of Tomorrow. So there you go. The Baron one says, you mean that time travelling one? Yeah, absolutely. It's been rubbish for years, says Lawful. I hope you're not talking about Legends of Tomorrow. That one's junk, lol. It's not junk, it's brilliant. <laughs> Pop that bagel, says Unship Mod. No, I'm not doing it. One One Bash is here saying, hello, Mr. Fox. Hello, Mr. One One Bash. Does nobody... Nobody agree with me? You should do a prediction on whether you die or not, says with the dwarf. Okay, I'll do that. One moment, please. Start a prediction. Uh, will I die or not? Yes. No. You have five minutes to make your prediction. Got it. Get him dangerously close to pickle power, says Unship Mod. I like Legends, it's very funny, says Rage's Edge. Not a huge DC fan, says Space Dorito. You really don't need to be. It's I don't think I, I have no idea what goes on in any of the comics. I've never read a comic in my life. I just enjoy the programmes. Smallville was a great show. John Snyder was always my park end. Yeah, I loved Smallville. I watched that to the end as well. Although that got a little bit boring doing the same old, same old thing near the end. Uh, once I changed Windows 95 to Russian language, there was a reason then I had to reinstall Windows because I could not work out what anything was. Good job. Luva was verti Lucifer was Vertigo in the beginning, I believed, along with Sandman. Big T says, we're on about biscuits seven hours ago. What's your favourite biscuit monorail? Biscuit monorail? What? What? Stop watching all those DC shows because they are junk and some started to go off where it went downhill. Yeah, I completely agree with you, but Legends hasn't. It's just got better. JCB has not seen it. Wow. Flash was okay. Ar Flash was okay, but it's just gone nuts now. Uh, Arrow was brilliant. That just went rubbish. And Supergirl was great the first couple of seasons of that, and that's rubbish now as well. It was good when it started, but kept getting worse as the seasons went by. It's said lawful. I went to London and learned the important word changes like ask for the laboratory instead of the restroom. You don't want to go to the laboratory instead of the restroom. Trust me, you really don't want to go to the laboratory instead of the restroom. 
Mitch says they don't watch Legends. Oh, jeez. Mitch, you need to watch it. You'll like it. Trust me. Baron One says he learned to fly in the final seconds of the show. Lol says, uh, yeah, that was Superman, Smallville. Yeah, they really they drew that out, didn't they? For the last, like, four series, they were, like, teasing it. Teasing it and teasing it, and then like literally right at the end, there's a split second of him flying, and you're just like, oh really, really? Loki. All I know is he died. Is the Baron bar one? Loki's not a DC comic. It's Marvel. He didn't die. How many time can you have the? villain that is a different version of the flash says i know that's what is so annoying about it it's always the same thing at least they don't have the thing at the beginning anymore can you remember at the beginning of every single episode for season after season it'd be like my name is barry allen and i am the fastest man alive and then there was always somebody faster always always every single episode and now all it is and i you know i understand why they're doing it but it is it's the flash isn't barry allen anymore the flash is our Barry and Iris. They are together with the Flash and, and, and their their love. <laughs> their love for each other is what keeps the speed force going. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. Stop it. <laughs> this season was particularly bad though. And I I mean I wouldn't mind spoiling it, but I'm sure there's people out there that quite enjoy it. But geez, the way that are oh, the it was just so stupid. Absolutely ridiculous. Now. Fly away, fly away, thank you. I should probably not be in a soul sand valley. This doesn't seem like a safe place to be. I'm gonna put that out there. For someone who doesn't like it, you sure do know a lot about it. Well, I watched it. I just watch it and think, why am I watching this? I don't like it. I did that with Arrow right until the end. I didn't, I can't do that with Supergirl though. I've tried really hard to do it with Supergirl, but that's just so bad. It started off great. I loved it. I loved the characters. I loved the character development. And then just something happened. It was, it was like the transition on Doctor Who from Russell T Davis to Stephen Moffat. All of a sudden the writing just took a plummet, went downhill and you just couldn't believe in it anymore. So... I haven't enjoyed Doctor Who since since then. I haven't enjoyed Supergirl. I wonder if they changed the, like the writing team or something at some point. It just just went stupid. I got bored with Aaron Flash the Swindle Spoon. I like Gotham Sleminski. I tried watching Gollum. Uh, Gollum. <laughs> Tried watching Gotham. I couldn't really get into it. I watched about three series of that, but it just never it never grew on me. But then, like, I I put that in the same boat as you know the the Marvel TV shows like uh, Daredevil and uh, what they called. There's the one with the the lady with David Tennant in it, and there's the one with oh what's his name? I can't remember. But there's like three. Oh, the Iron Fist and the other one. Can't remember. They're rubbish. They're really bad. I re they're so slow. I really struggle to watch those. I know a lot of people really like them, but they're, they're just so slow. I, I can't stand slow TV shows. It drives me nuts. Nothing ever happens. The story takes forever to get going. And then doesn't do anything, doesn't go anywhere. <gasps> oh, I thought I was going to fall in the lava then. Oof. Do you have a favourite band, Foxy? Um, no, not really. I, got, I, I like a lot of different bands. Depends what I'm feeling like listening to at the time. Jessica Jones was good, says Swimsburg. But no, it wasn't. It was rubbish. I, I, again, I really wanted to like that. I really wanted to like that. I like the actors in it. But it was rubbish. Too slow. Boring. I didn't like David Tennant in it either. I don't like him being a baddie. <laughs> <laughs> Punisher was a good show. It's like, like I don't, I know, I just, I never got to watch Punisher. Well, I I'd never, not that I never got to. I never, I chose not to watch Punisher just because the rest of them were so bad, and I didn't like the character that played him. I don't like the guy. <laughs> I'd rather watch Doctor Who over and over for months than watch those hero shows again or finish them. Says the Baron one. Yeah. See, that's the thing with Doctor Who. It's a bit like how I am with the Flash. I still sit and watch it religiously regardless of how much i don't like it 
And uh, I'll just hope that it will come back around. Now, they they keep teasing. Obviously, we're going to be getting a new Doctor again soon. But they keep teasing that they're doing some new and interesting things with it. Uh, I think they're getting a new new set of writers in soon as well. And I'm sure they're doing like some mini series thing or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is that they said they're doing. But I really, really hope every time they do that, oh, that they are actually going to create something, something good. It's been so long since Doctor Who's been good. And it really deserves to be. Because it, it's got such a brilliant idea. And we've seen how good it can be with previous writers and previous Doctors. I'd really like it. Uh, there was it was it Martin Sheen who played what's his name in um, Bad at a Good Omens. Is it Martin Sheen? Got his name. He was uh, like up on the list of who do you think is going to be the next Doctor. I think he'd be a good one. JCB said next Doctor who I think is going to be one continuous story like they did with Torchwood. Oh, that'd be good then. Love Good Omen, says Mock Turtle. Yeah, that was brilliant. That was really good. I'm looking forward to the next series of that. Although I, I, I do worry that it's not going to be nearly as entertaining as the, uh, the first one. I don't know how they could beat that because it was, it was so interested and different. I think they could quite easily ruin it. They need to bring back previous creator for Doctor Who. He was magic. Russell T. Davis. I don't know whether... I don't know, he went a bit off the rails as well, didn't he? Because he did the, the Torchwood, was it the 456 on Torchwood? Which was just wrong on so many levels. I, don't, I really still, to this day, don't know how that got put on TV. It was awful. It was so, not just awfully like made, but like the, the storyline was dreadful. It was horrendous. It was horrific. I, I don't know how that was allowed to be put on TV. I remember watching that through Gritted Teeth thinking, this is, this is horrendous. All the Torchwoods up to that point were great, and then that came out, and it just really gave the whole thing a bad name. The Girl Doctor Who, we didn't even finish the... I didn't... The Girl Doctor Who, I didn't even finish the season loss as a barren one. Yeah, she's... Uh, I really... I had I had high hopes for her when she started. I'd seen her in a few other things, and I was... I, I think she's a very, very competent actress, or actor, but she's rubbish, Doctor Who. <laughs> she is... I don't like the way she does talk to him at all. I'm up for having another Lady Doctor Who, though. Just just one that's more of a Doctor Who and not, not just... I don't know. She just doesn't feel like a Doctor Who. Doesn't have the presence. Feels like she needs carrying too much by the other people and she just doesn't have that, that weight on her own. You know what I mean? one that plays master yeah she she'd have been a brilliant doctor yeah she she definitely commands the room she's got a lot of presence well someone like uh like dame judy dench is a couple of episodes spin-off she should be a good doctor who not capaldi fan either says v Valandres. no he was rubbish <laughs> and i really like him as well but he was really bad doctor who <laughs> he didn't feel like the doctor at all did he <laughs> Love Capaldi, but he had some bad storylines. Yeah, I. Do you know what? I think I give you that one. I think he would have been. I think I'd have enjoyed his Doctor a lot more if he had a, a storyline that was worth watching, but he didn't. He was given the world's worst storylines, and the whole guitar thing. The guitar thing was just so cringeworthy. Like, why? Why is he strumming this guitar? What? I don't get it. Well, that's his thing, is it? No, it isn't. No. He should have had an old leather armchair and a book and a monocle. That should have been his thing. Just going and sitting in his chair at the end of the day and just like humping and being grumpy at the world. That should have been that should have been his one. But they just I mean that they played him out to be like a little bit like off, like not quite right, didn't they? Rather than Doctor Who's supposed to be ridiculously intelligent and clever and switched on and understands what's going on and he was just completely bananas. So. Christmas specials were great though, says Light Slab. I haven't seen a good Christmas special for a while. I'm looking forward to the next good Christmas special. The old ones used to be good. I'll give you that. I'll give you that for nothing. So 
surprised no one in the chat's been screaming at me about, you should just trade with piglins for all that quartz. You were absolutely right. Save me a big job. I did say at the beginning of the stream we should get some piglins. No one's been shouting at me, which is both, you know, quite relieving. And also at the same time, could have done with the reminder. <laughs> Hello, chaps. <gasps> Many chaps. Job. Job. Now, job. Job. Fortunately, all of you just have got rubbish crossbows. So you don't worry me. You'd have a ton of gravel if you did trade since Swindle Spent. Yeah, but I could burn that. I could burn it with fire, so it'd be all right. Uh, we'll keep that, we'll keep that, we'll keep that. We don't need that. Waiting for you to take breath, Foxy. Lol, says Lawful. Do I not breathe? Is, do I, is, what are you saying? I don't shut up. <laughs> I always breathe. I'm a big breather. I'm a heavy breather. Jeez. Give me a break on breathing, bro. How rude. Lifesimer says, have you ever thought about changing piglins to allow them into the overworld? I know I have. Um, well, that would kind of ruin the i think it's a, i think that's a nice mechanic because it forces you to to work differently it forces you to even if it's not a big area it forces you to do something inside the nether and and play the game in a different way i think i think that's a good thing you can understand the temptation of wanting to to bring the piglins to the overworld so that you don't so that you can have them with all of your other stuff but i know i kind of like it the way it is i think as a my OCD kicks in with things like that. If I had a base where everything was, I'd really want my piglins to be in my base where everything was. But sometimes you just got to put your OCD to the side and, and go in a different direction, which is quite painful to do. <laughs> like seeing a cupboard that's not quite closed or a drawer that's not quite shut. Are we getting back, says Lord Mole? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Lofty, you almost got that right then. The new update, they've named a sub-biome after me called Lofty Acres. They haven't. <laughs> they've named a sub-biome after you called Lofty Peaks. And it's one of the mountain ones, right high up in the world. You can live in Lofty Peaks, Lofty. Be Lofty in Lofty Peaks. I think you were thinking of uh, whatever it is, Meadows, a second ago. I wish they did leather blocks with the amount of leather you get with trading. What would a leather block be useful for though? Would it would just look nice? Look a bit leathery. You can make sofas out of them. <gasps> Dyed leather. Although I guess that's kind of what terracotta is, isn't it? Terracotta kind of looks a little bit like dyed leather once you try and make sofas and stuff out of it. But it could have a slightly more sort of softer edges to it, I guess, with the texture. Or like a, a almost like a stitched edged feel to it. That could be interesting. Throw everything in the ender chest and fast travel back, says uh, Wraith. Don't be ridiculous. I haven't got enough room in my ender chest. Otherwise, that would have been a quite a good idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm just going to hiccup to death. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I got this. Good show, Lofty. You've been recognised by Moyang. Cheers, mate, says one bosh. One, one bosh. Yep. Yeah, I don't see any foxy no-tail biomes, do you? <laughs> rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Can't believe it. Not good news. One day, you'll be walking through Minecraft in 2028. Walking through the foxy no-tail biome. It'll be amazing. You'll love it. Ah, dude. Really? I'm, I'm trying really hard to get quartz here and you're not making it easy. Oh, okay, do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to move. I'll go somewhere else. You you have that spot there. That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. I'll go. I'll move. You stay. All good. I don't even mind. Foxy, no tail biome is in the biome filled with holes and buttons. <laughs> 
just loads of holes. There's holes for you to fall down. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Neatly sorted chests, buttons, and lots of holes. <laughs> Andy Dizzy says, hi, mates. You got your ticket, Dizzy. Don't forget your ticket. Not coming in without your ticket. There's a discount, though, on this week. They're only £1.50. Ooh. Foxes live in Tagus, Foxy. That's your biome, and you and Tiz are foxes. Yeah, but it's not the Foxy no-tail biome, is it? The Tager that foxes live in. I'm more greedy than that. I need better. Can you shoot more directly at me so I can fire back at you, please? Or just don't just fly off. That's fine. That's okay. Now, look, okay. Really? Jeez. Gasts is done. Oh, really? Really? No. <laughs> I'm glad I had my happy smiley pickle then. Jeez. Thank you, Roth. Saved my life. That doesn't count as me dying, though. So, you know, the prediction was for me to die. Same, and out there. Right then, peeps, come on. What else you got to tell me? What other things have we got to discuss? We've talked about superheroes and and TV shows. We've talked about upsetting myths about things we shouldn't talk about with TV shows. We've talked about Doctor Who and writers. We've talked about Lofty's new biome. What else we got? What else we got? Come on. You guys are good for a conversation. What do you want to talk about? Going on in chat town. Flint blocks. Flint blocks would be good. Yeah, I'd take that. I would absolutely 100% take flint blocks. Because flints, stupidly, there's so many of them. So many flints. And gravels. It would be really nice to have a use for flint other than just making a flint and steel. So you can have houses like we have in the UK, says Swindlesburn. Houses made out of flint in the UK? What? I don't. <laughs> Confused fox noises. What? That will set me, it says I wouldn't want bash. I won't, I don't dare. I mean, I wouldn't because of other reasons. Are you looking forward to a new warden in the updates? Is Lofty. Um, we don't. We still don't know very much about the warden, and I get the feeling it's going to be one of those things that's either going to blow our minds or we're going to be really disappointed in it because they have hyped and hyped and hyped it. They've done the whole way. Oh, it might not be coming thing, and you know, it's still there's no guarantees it's going to be coming in 1.18. They still haven't said that it will. They're still playing on the fact that it might be delayed even further than that. So, I don't know. King B-Dogs, who's obviously developing it and coming up with the ideas for it and struggling with, you know, branching it all over to Bedrock Edition, is, has said, if you listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast on about it, when he was a guest on that, he talks about how they've it's going to be unlike anything that you've ever faced on Minecraft before. And Pixel Rifts and, and Joel were talking about how, you know, is it going to be one of those you can just pile up and kill from above? It's like, no, we've got ways around that. We've got ways around, you know, all of the, the ways people would normally try and cheese a, a hard boss in Minecraft. So I am really interested and intrigued to see what they've come up with. But at the same time, We've heard so many of these things from Mo Yang before where they, they've come up with something that they consider to be like a really interesting and great idea. And it's not 
and anything particularly interesting really it's you just think oh okay yeah it was great the first time i saw it but it's pretty useless i don't like the fact that it's got no drop but then again because we don't know anything about it we don't know what its actual purpose is or what it's going to be doing so it's difficult to comment on knowing so little about it or assuming i know so little about it and we might know loads about it we might just be hoping that there's more to come from it because we don't feel like what we have heard about it is enough and they are being coy with it you know they are purposefully not telling us all of the stuff to do with it so my answer to you there as i've already said and then waffled on about it is i don't know How many pickles do you have, says Lord Mole? This is my last one in my hand. Uh, I don't have any more on me. I might have one on my end of chest, maybe. I don't think so. Mr. Fox, are we ever going to get an updated Chuck add-on, says Womp Womp Bash? Well, Womp Womp Bash, if you've been following my channel closely, you might notice that last uh, autumn, I started a series called How to Make Add-ons, in which we started working on a brand new Chuck. And yes, the series isn't finished because, well, this summer got in the way, but I am going to be continuing it very, very soon. So, yes, we are the by the end of that series, you will have all of the tools you need to build your own chuck. And obviously all of the resource materials will be there as well. So you'll be able to download it for yourself if you really want to uh, and cheat your way into a new chuck rather than building your own and getting the satisfaction of doing it yourself. So, yeah. New Chuck will be on the way, but I'm not just going to do the add-on and update it for you all, guys. It's going to be just as part of that tutorial series. I want concrete stairs and slabs to use all the stupid gravel upon. So this feel good. Yeah, I, I don't want concrete stairs and slabs. I'm not I'm not interested in concrete stairs and slabs. I would like more varieties of stairs and slabs, but concrete I'm not bothered about. I don't think we need concrete stairs and slabs. The concrete's such a flat block anyway, I think it looks better just as solid blocks, whereas there's so many other textures in the game that would really benefit, like dirt. Dirt and grass and sand would be great to have as layers or like uh, slabs of. I don't think it makes much sense to have stairs of those things, but yeah, I'd much rather have those. The warden will make bells more useful as distraction devices, says Wraith. Well, you say distraction devices. See, I'm really hoping that the goat horn is the thing that you, you use to, like, make the warden get confused. Because otherwise, what's the point in that? But I don't even think that's gone over to Java Edition yet, has it? But then if they're not actually planning on putting the warden into Java Edition 1.18, then it won't be. But we will we'll know very, very soon, because I think they've said they've done the end of the experimental snapshot builds now, haven't they? That's finished now. So the next snapshot we get will be an official 1.18 snapshot. Now, we are talking Java Edition here, but if we've got a Deep Dark and a Warden in there, then that will confirm for us 100% that, yes, we're going to be getting those in 1.18. But I'm still... I'm still edging my bets. They were very, very, very insistent that it wasn't going to be coming anytime soon on the tweets that they made and they haven't said they've been they've danced around it so much that i really don't know whether or not it'll be there i hope it is but i i feel like we might all be disappointed but but all commercial buildings have concrete stairs and patios that are made from slabs that frustrates me too uh, yeah, but then that's no, that's kind of like andesite, isn't it? Rather than actual the, the smooth, I guess maybe, maybe. I'm not saying it'd be, you know, I would hate it if they were in the game, but I just think it would make the crafting menu so even more bulked out than it already is. You don't want too many blocks in the game because invent well unless they manage to find a really good and new way of doing inventory management we need the blocks tidying up if anything more hot bar slots please mate that'd be nice i want a faster way to convert concrete powder to concrete says vex yeah 
Yeah, it is annoying when it instantly turns from concrete powder to concrete when you put water on it, isn't it? It's just too slow. That instantaneous trans that transfer is just, it's just way too slow. You need to come up with a better system. I know what you're saying, I'm just joking. Bone slads and stairs would be useful in my current build, says Wraith. Yeah, bone, I think bone stairs and slabs would help, maybe. Or bone walls would be good. I'd like bone walls. You could make really interesting structures with bone walls. Or even bone fences. But mainly bone walls. It'd be nice if you could remove wax layers from copper in a crafting table. Um... What item would you use to do that, though? Or would you just put the item in and get it back out again unwaxed? And then, how do you... Hmm. Hmm, tricky. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you... Do you really have a surplus of wax blocks that you need to unwax, though? It's, I mean, copper's not that... It's still relatively rare, isn't it? So I can't imagine anyone's got tons and tons and tons of copper that they need to unwax. And if they have... Just put, you know, put them down in a line and go go along with your axe and unwax them. Kind of like you've got to do that with pumpkins anyway, haven't you, to, to shear your pumpkins. It'd be nice if you could put pumpkins in a crafting table and, and shear those, but, but you can't. If only dispensers can play certain blocks and other things, says Lights Lab. Yeah, then we'd get onto crazy levels of automation. That'd be good. And I'd really like it if pistons would break certain like if they would break certain blocks in the original betas for java edition if two pistons came together into a block the block broke and you had amazing farms from that you could make really really cool cobble generators and stone generators and now they're doing it with moss blocks but obviously you only have to push it from one side i'd love it if they brought that back there must be a reason why they took that out maybe they thought it was too op be able to farm items that easily or maybe there was a performance thing having to figure out that pistons were pushing it from both sides. I don't know, but I'd really like that back in the game. You can wax them in the table, so why can't you do it the other way? Uh, I don't know. I may be an oversight from the developers. I don't know. I don't know. There's lots of things that don't make any sense in this game. We questioned it all. We'll go insane. We were already insane. Well, that's true. Good point. Good point. Right. How do I get home, peeps? I think I've had enough of doing this now. <laughs> I need to find a way home. Put the rest of my quartz away. Got a decent amount. Now all we got to do is get out of here. Pop that down. Put that in there. Put that in there. Now everything that we care about is safe. Dirty Hippie says, Lights Lab, me too. Have you played the Emerald Tycoon map? It's free right now and you've got to check out the Mesa Biome. I love the fun rail line they made. It's a good map. Space says, pick a direction and fly. Well, that's not going to get me out. That's going to get me further in. Surely I'm somewhere near spawn-ish anyway. Now, I think our nether is at the bottom. We've done a bottom layer nether this season. So if I just go down low. How low can you go? All the way to the flow. Take it back now, yo. Oh, okay. I didn't want to do <laughs> That was stupid. Yeah, if I go down low oh, and potentially oh, oh, yeah, dig. Oh, I'm still not very low. I need to be lower. I need to be even lower. And yeah, just dig down. What could go wrong? It'd be like Y 10-ish. We'll find it. I assume it's on Y ten ish. Might be higher than that. It'll be fine. We'll find it. We'll find it. And now I just need to head. Uh, yeah, in in that sort of direction. 
hopefully, <laughs> hopefully with a bit of luck, I'll come across the nether hub. I head towards zero zero. Now I know we're not actually at zero zero. We're actually at zero ish minus three hundred is spawn. So not going to be far from that in the nether. We should bump into one of Zap's tunnels at some point, providing that we are on the right level, which I don't know if we are. Hmm. I'll take it. Free ancient debris. Isn't there a cobble bridge nearby? There was actually, wasn't there? Well, you know, this is more interesting, isn't it? Hey, look, someone just subscribed for two months in a row. Look, look. McKay! McKay86 just subscribed for two months. Thank 86, you. just subscribed for two months. Thank you very much. Excellent subscribing skills there. Jolly good show. Sweet. I love unexpected inspiration, says Dirty Hippie. Says Lights Lab. No, that was Lights Lab talking to Dirty Hippie. Jeez. Jeez. I'm good at doing words and names and things. Aha! See? See? Dig and you shall find. When's your next musical? My kids love them, says Avoided Law. Uh, I haven't got any musicals planned at this particular moment in time, but that doesn't mean there won't be more coming in the future. I would definitely 100% like to do more because I really enjoyed doing those ones. Um, but I've got a lot of other things to plan that don't involve musicals uh, soon. Hmm. Sorry, Zap. Don't tell Zap. Okay, wasn't me. It's made me do it. Then you miss. Oh, you found it, Lars. The Baron one. Yep. Told you. You had no faith in me. None. Maybe you need to use another pickaxe, as Lord Mole. Pfft. Really? Zero faith. I've been using Chuck as a template to build a helper for my six-year-old. So far, it follows and defends her, picks up items, and interacts with hoppers. Amazing. Well done. Good job. There you go. You, you, you've just taken on it. Now you can build new Chuck. <laughs> right. When you say it interacts with hoppers, do you mean when you put it on top of a hopper, or when it stands on top of a hopper, items come out the bottom of it? I don't have any room for any of those things. Well, put the magma blocks in there. We'll take those out. Put those quartzes in there. Put the head in there. Many, many heads. And um, we'll put all of this junk in here. Why not? Many, 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 many. Right, gunpowder and gas tier can go in there. Five of those can go in there. And then... My potions from the oceans can go in there. Oh, my look, my glow squid farm's working again. <laughs> right. Foxy's made blame it's 47. Mitz! Didn't. It's not true. Mitz made me blame you. Put my pickle away. Click on me furnace. Take out a piece of chicken. Forget to hold my pickaxe. Using the siphon component, yeah. Take out another piece of chicken. Repair my pickaxe. Put the chicken away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. There we go, chicken is away. You know what that means, peeps, don't you? I know we're technically five minutes early. But I've done everything I wanted to do for the day. I liked your fast stone generator so much, I copy it on my world to the Baron 1. I'm glad you liked it. It worked well, didn't it? If she dies, it doesn't respawn straight away. It will pick up her items and teleport to her when she does respawn. Wow, that's clever. Very clever. Right, okay. So, we need to do that prediction thing. Where did it go? Choose prediction. Did I die? I did not die. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. There you go. Prediction result is no. So it's time for five minutes dance breaks in space routine. No, but I still haven't done those push-ups. So I'm going to do those push-ups quick before we go, actually. I completely forgot. 20k goes to Iz and 18 others. Good job. Well done. Right. 
Time to do the push-ups. I think I got 10. Let me know if there was more than that. I don't think there was. Juliana says, bye. I'm not gone yet. Wait. Hang on, Nelly. I have to do push-ups. Ready? Twenty says, uh, "Was he bet? I don't think it was uh, twenty at all. I think you're telling me fibs. I think you're telling me fibs there." Okay, right. Well, peeps, I'm afraid now. It's time to go. I'm going to take my incredibly difficult to drink water, and I'm going to make like a tree and buzz off. Like make like a bee and leave. I'm going to make it like a whale and get out of here. <laughs> it's so easy to drink. <sighs> if your name is going along the screen right now, which it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there we go. It's just very slow. And an extra big thank you to you for popping along and saying hello in today's live stream and being very generous. Perhaps you were a moderator. Perhaps you was very generous perhaps you were gifted a subscription from someone else if your name's not on the screen don't worry about it thank you anyway for turning up it's very very nice to see you all we're going to now move the the stream on to somebody that deserves many many well i've only got bruno on my list geez it's always bruno well guess bruno's getting more of our good friends right in seven seconds six five four three two one, have an amazing time. I'll see you all later. Bye.